Games are expensive to make. It's easy to see why it's a billion dollar industry. And shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that some games budgets rival the likes of massive Hollywood blockbusters. Being of two different mediums, costs come in different forms. But regardless, they produce high end titles that entertain and compel us. So with that in mind, let's count down the top 10 video games that cost more than Hollywood blockbusters. Now there are a few factors to take into account when talking about these games. There's the development cost, marketing cost, total cost of those combined, and what the cost would be now with the current 2017 inflation in US dollars. Just a little something to keep in mind. And at number 10 is Max Payne 3. With an overall budget of $105 million that would equate to $110 million with today's inflation, this 2012 Rockstar Studios game sold 4 million copies within the first year it was released. The game scored a ton of accolades too, and was critically acclaimed, despite the release being pushed back by a few years. Up next, number 9 is APB, All Points Bulletin. With a total budget of $100 million that now equates to around $110 million, this game developed by Real Time Worlds was supposed to be the GTA of the 21st century, which many thought possible considering the lead game designer David Jones was responsible for the first Grand Theft Auto game. An open world multiplayer online game, it was released in June 2010 and then was placed into administration just two months later, eventually being reactivated when the K2 company purchased the game and relaunched it. And there's even a PS4 version now too, and Xbox One, so it didn't die. Up next, number 8 is Too Human. Developed by Silicon Knights, this 2008 game for the Xbox 360 had a development cost somewhere between 60 and 100 million dollars, with the total cost claimed to be 100 million, with around 111 million dollars in inflation today. Two Human was reported to be in development hell for just under 10 years. Combining sci-fi futuristic elements with Norse mythology, the game went back and forth in terms of a plot and partnership contracts, jumping from developing the game for the PlayStation, then to Nintendo, and then to Microsoft. The game was released to mediocre reviews, with many critics commenting on how it started off with an impressive first level, which continuously declined as the game progressed. Up next, number seven is Grand Theft Auto 4. Another Rockstar game on this list, GTA 4, was projected to be the most expensive of game in video game history produced back in 2008. Producer Leslie Benzies had estimated the game would cost approximately $100 million to create, with over a thousand people working on the title over the course of three and a half years. This now equates to over $111 million, and the game sold over 600,000 copies within the first week in the UK, breaking records at the time. And at number six is Destiny. With a confirmed development budget of $140 million, it's hard to believe the claims that Activision Blizzard CEO Robert Kotick initially made about the overall budget being $500 million. According to Kotick, this $500 million included marketing, packaging, infrastructure support, royalties, and other costs. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this estimation is supposed to cover the period of 10 years that new Destiny content will be released within, as opposed to just being spent on a single game with a single release date. And at number 5 is Star Wars The Old Republic, another critically acclaimed game on our list, and definitely not the last. The Old Republic costs quite the pretty penny to make, with a development budget of $200 million, and similar to our last number, had additional costs in order to support the MMORPG. On the record, in terms of development costs of the game's initial release, we're looking at a 2017 inflation of about $213 million. Damn. Up next, number 4 is Final Fantasy VII. Released in 1997, the seventh installment of the Final Fantasy series received critical acclaim, and by 2005 it had sold 9.8 million copies. Not bad for a game that had a development cost of $45 million. With a marketing cost of $100 million, the game's budget came to $145 million in total, which with inflation today comes to about $216 million. The game was praised for being beyond its time, with one reviewer even saying that it was light years ahead of anything else on the PlayStation console. Up next, number 3 is Star Wars Battlefront 2. While numbers haven't been released concerning the game's overall development and marketing budgets, we do know that the total cost of the game is around $235 million. As of the recording of this video, the game is yet to be released, with it dropping worldwide November 17th, 2017. But the game has already gotten a ton of hype, with promises that the flaws some players had issued Issues with and the first Battlefront have been fixed this time around with the sequel. Up next, number two is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 tends to make the top spot on other lists due to the 2017 inflation. Released in 2009, the game had a budget of $50 million for its development costs and $200 million for its marketing costs. That's insane. Making its total cost $250 million. With current inflation, that's about $279 million, which surpasses our number one spot by a mere $7 million in terms of inflation, which 
I mean, we're still talking millions here, so it's still kind of a big deal, but you know. Regardless, it's the sixth installment in the Call of Duty series. And as of January 2010, the game had made more than $1 billion in revenue, making an estimated $550 million in the first five days of its release. And finally, in our number one spot is Grand Theft Auto V. While Modern Warfare 2 technically is the most expensive game ever made if you consider the current 2017 inflation, technically speaking, GTA V still costs more at the time of its creation to develop. With $137 million in development costs and $128 million in marketing costs, the game had a total budget of $265 million back in 2013, which is inflated now to $272 million, just a few mil short of what the inflation was for Modern Warfare 2, which is due to the time difference in case you guys were wondering. Anyway, GTA V has been the most commercially successful game to date, making over $800 million worldwide within its first 24 hours of release, surpassing a billion dollars after three days of its release. And that's not even including the awards it racked up either, or what the stats are today with GTA Online. All right. There we have it friends. Which of these games is your favorite to play? Let us know in those comments below. And if you guys dug this video and want to check out more game lists, why not check out a few of our other videos on our channel? Like top 10 movies based off of video games perhaps. In the meantime, thanks for watching Top 10 Gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one.